Hey guys, it's Joshua Reviews, and today we are talking about a fun little slasher. So, I just got done with Good Tidings, a pretty good horror film that I don't know if it'll ever get the attention it deserves. So I figured, okay, let's review another Santa-themed horror film. And, decide, and uh, blah, today I decided to go with All Through the House. It was directed... I don't know. <laughs> uh, I forgot the director's name. And I forgot all the cast members' name. <coughs> so, All Through the House is a movie about a killer Santa Claus. Killing hot females. Yeah, that's the movie. That's the movie. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I was worried coming in. The film started off pretty good, and then I was messing with this thing. So. The first few minutes started off pretty good. A uh, hot female and a black guy, they get killed right away. Oh dear god, we were in for a treat. The kills in this are fucking graphic. They are graphic. Dude, the guy gets his penis cut off. He's okay, so the guy enters the bathroom. Girl, his girlfriend's taking a shower. He's like, like, hey, you gonna show me the goods? And she's like, well, first you gotta make your friend happy. So he goes into the re he goes into the bedroom, jerks off, and then the girlfriend gets killed. If, if you've seen Friday the 13th Part 5 where the girl gets the shears to the eyes, oh boy, you see it. You see it. It ain't pretty. <coughs> and then Santa Claus walks into the room and cuts the dude's dick off. Not pretty. Not pretty. And I, I told myself, wow, we're going to have ourselves a real treat, right? And then I thought to myself, this is just the beginning. Just wait. Okay? Ten minutes in, I'm bored. This movie's boring. <laughs> uh, this movie's kind of boring. It's exactly like Mrs. Claus and uh, what's the other one? Krampus Origins. I reviewed both films last year, and they were pretty good, but they weren't enough to save it. Like Mrs. Claus had a bunch of good kills, but the story was flat and the acting was terrible. In this film, the acting was bad. The acting was pretty bad. It was not good, I'll tell you that. Uh, the story is cliche, it's really forgettable, it's nothing you have seen before. In fact, it's kind of the story from the remake of Black Christmas. Kinda, of. it doesn't involve the incest shit, <laughs> whatever that was about. Uh, but instead, it is about I'm just gonna spoil it. So, one thing leads to another. This girl wants uh, a girl. She this uh, the this uh, mom wants a daughter, but she gets a boy. And her friend, uh, the mom's friend, uh, has a daughter, but the mom, mom's uh, husband, cheated on her with her friend and 
she gave birth to the daughter. So she killed her husband and did plastic surgery herself on the boy. And he went to a mental institution. Uh, she blamed the boy for the killing of her husband. And he, come, he came back and basically she said, we're gonna fix you and he went around killing girls. <coughs> and to be honest, I didn't care. I really did not care. None of these characters are likable. They're all slutty. They're really, really bad actors. And I didn't care for a single one of them. The only good thing I liked about this movie was the killer, the weapon, the whole theme, the whole aesthetic. The whole aesthetic, sorry. Aspect. Aspetic. Ha <laughs> Whatever that was. The whole aesthetic to this film felt Christmassy. Oh my god, this film was drenched in Christmas. I loved every bit of it. But, movie shit. Uh, like I said, killer, weapon, the whole aesthetic of the Christmas feel, and the kills. The kills are the only reason I recommend this movie, kind of like Mrs. Claus. In fact, this movie draws a lot of similarities to Mrs. Claus. I know the director did not direct anything else other than this, so. But, oh dear God, the kills in this were so graphic. Two dick scenes, two dick cutoff scenes, oh my God. And the girl gets sliced in the boob, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, oh, dude, that's the only reason I recommend this movie, just for the kills, okay? The whole movie's forgettable. It's boring, slow. I didn't care for the characters. In fact, when the ending uh, came, or, came about, I was like, Finally, it's over. But if you can sit through all that just for the kills, watch this film. It's bad, but it's not terrible because it has some entertainment value. So I would have to give this movie a D, a D minus, uh, a three out of ten, and a two out of five. I don't, I don't know what else to review, guys. I really don't. I might review something stupid. <sighs> Let's see. I reviewed Black Christmas. I reviewed... I reviewed Black Christmas 2006. And, wait, what? They're making another Black Christmas? Comes out tomorrow? Oh, I'm reviewing that. Oh, shit. Come, come on, baby. You gotta go. It's this way.